Yes, that's you, all the scuba divers and hopefully future scuba divers out there. My name is Jan, I'm a scuba instructor and you're on my channel. <laughs> Give it a good thumbs up. The dive site I'm going to talk to you guys today is called Mawan. Now this is another dive site where we hope to encounter mantas. Very popular spot for mantas. Now if you look at the dive map, if you see there sort of in the middle of the dive map, there's sort of a big um, arch area, like a big berm, which is mostly covered, which is mostly white sand. And of course there's coral bobbies um, spread all over this place. Now in this archway area, um, this, this is probably the only place where you won't get much current because of course there's, there's a lot of current um, which is all over here in Komodo you know um, there's going to be a lot of manta so but in this arch area is where we find because the two currents come together that is probably the area where you're going to have the least current so you can jump in there and then make your way jump in in the shallow water and then make your way deeper because quite often the mantas like to come from the deep waters and up into the current now, even if there are no mantas, you know, wait around a little bit. These coral bombies, there's a lot of marine life there. You can see peacock, mantis, shrimps, and loads of different types of nudibranchs. And there's even some garden eels out in the sand. And then if you look to either side of this dive map, if you look first to the left-hand side, now if you go up over this um, sand bank area, this is where you're also going to encounter current. And very often the current is so strong that you won't be able to make it out there. Because if you go a little bit, there's coral, lots of coral rubble again. And you go a little bit further, there's more coral outcrops and coral bombies. And that is also where you can find quite often quite a lot of mantas might be aware of the current because there's nothing to hook onto it's flat there's coral rubble you can't even hide behind any of the bombies so see if you can make your way out there and then on the right hand side is a very similar thing but there's lots of beautiful beautiful coral here you'll see it's sort of a gentle slope then with a short drop off and then a gentle slope again now quite often a lot of dive centers i've done it a few times where you jump in there and the current is really fast and it basically drifts you all the way to that sand arch area now as you drift on that sand arch area quite often that you encounter mantas swimming out against the current now over here this whole place is covered in coral you won't be able to really hook up there and wait and watch the mantas you're just going to have to drift hopefully the current's not too strong and then a the current flushes you out basically in the sandy arch area and like i said this is where we see most of the time the uh, mantas lots of other things to see if you're unlucky not to see any mantas there lots of macro life absolutely beautiful and then when you do your safety stop you know just go up to the shallower area and then you can do your safety stop over there but that's enough talking i've got some video footage to show you let's jump in welcome to my world
that was my one. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much footage here because the times when I dived here, I actually had my hands full to keep, try and keep my group together because of the current. Like I said, lots of current over here, but still a very, very enjoyable dive. And if you do find mantas here, they tend to be in quite big groups, not just one or two. They tend to be like four, five, six, seven, maybe sometimes. So very enjoyable dive. So if you like this video, you know, remember to subscribe, give it a good thumbs up, and don't forget to share this video with your dive buddies. Until next time, take care. Oh! <laughs>